Boxing Toasters. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to beatbox vocal chopping. It's done a lot in just regular music and I don't see it often in beatboxing, which is weird, but it's something that I've been doing forever and I feel weird that I haven't even touched upon it really in any of these tutorials. If you are not caught up on the tutorials because I haven't done them in a little while, and you need some refreshing, they'll be right here for you. And I think the humming and beatboxing at the same time tutorial will definitely relate to this video 100%. So vocal chopping, I've been seeing a lot of this style being used, especially in just EDM, like trap, chill, songs, house, deep house, dubstep, even Melbourne bounce. And it's basically just taking a part of the vocals or a lyric or even just a note for that matter, so it's just like, uh, and it's chopping that and integrating it within the beat. And it just, people lose their minds to it. They're like, whoa, this is crazy. All in all, it's, I mean, technically for beatboxing, it's not that difficult, especially if you already have humming down or you got the bass voice down. Just, it could be as, as simple as just a, uh, and I'm not a good singer, so I use vocal chopping to kind of break that all up and give it a cool effect. So it'll be like And like that already on its own is like, well that's an interesting sound. So morphing that into the beat, it's just so just learning how to incorporate that all, especially if you already got all the beats down, you're like, I need something else in here. Yeah, I can go really fast, but what if I want to turn down for what or not? <laughs> or not. Or not. If you can add that all in and incorporate that, that gives you the musicality, the technicality, the speed, rhythm. It gives you all kinds of things. And it's like, whoa. And even with the bass voice, you can do it. And now I do that a lot. And if you guys notice, especially if I'm doing a cover song or something like that, to make it different in my own style, I'll vocal chop the heck out of it. And I'll be like, I'm so fancy. You ready? No, no. See you from LA to Toe. Bam. That's pretty much the basics of vocal chopping. You're just taking a note or a lyric, a word. You could be like, hi. You can do that to your neighbor and they'll be like, all right, I think I'm gonna move. Hopefully this has opened your mind a little bit more to vocal chopping. It's definitely something fun to work and integrate in as a cool effect that people will be like, damn, that's a remix. I don't know why I just did that. Damn! Thank you guys once again for tuning in. If you wanna see more tutorials, let me know in the comments below as well as leaving a lover hug. I love when you guys hug me. Because it's getting cold. I don't like my nipples hard. All right, toasters. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Shake them and bake them, bake them, bake them. Hi hat, kick drum, bass, bake them, bake them. Kick, 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 kick drum. Hi hat, bass, bass snare, bass snare, bass snare. Deep breathing. Howdy, toasters. Howdy. Hey. <laughs> Drop the bed. God. Has anybody popped a boner in this, in, in our team? Because I don't think so. Hey.